this evening brings us together. Tonight, we'll begin by making these walls into a synagogue by firstly placing a mezuzah on our entry wall, and then we will erect a chuppah, the wedding canopy, over here by the glass wall, and underneath it, we'll bear Taurus through you, through the doors, into the synagogue, our sanctuary. We will then turn on our ner tamid, our light of God's presence, put the Torah scrolls in the ark, and indeed, make this into the synagogue of Congregation Emmanuel. Tonight is a night of many firsts. It is an honor for me to welcome all of you to the first Shabbat service in this sanctuary. The opportunity, alongside Jeffrey Rains, to oversee the details of building a new synagogue for this historic congregation has been my privilege. I want to thank Jeffrey for his unique vision and unwavering leadership. I'd also like to thank Randy Armstrong, as she has been an invaluable partner in every aspect of the design and construction of our beautiful building. Her handprint will also be seen in the landscaping as well in the coming weeks. My thanks also go to my brother, Jeff Spears, for picking up the slack at work while I have endeavored to complete this project. He has given me his constant support, and this congregation his talents and inspirational devotion. I especially want to thank my beautiful wife, Donna, who has been beyond generous in giving up personal time with me. Somehow, she always found the patience and graciousness to support me while I have volunteered on this multi-year project. She and Jeannie Rains are rare and precious jewels in our congregation. Jeffrey and I hope that we have succeeded in our decision making to ever keep the needs of this congregation at the forefront of our minds. On this night of firsts, we recall the world words of my favorite past president. We are mindful that it is the people, all of us together, who make this structure a very special house of worship, a Beit Tefillah, a house of study, a Beit Midrash, and a house of gathering, a Beit Knesset. Combined, they make a synagogue. I thought of the Inland Empire community both San Bernardino and the brethren of your Kaifa and East and North and South. It's not a brethren synagogue, it's our synagogue, it's our temple. I thought of the word compassion and I studied a little bit what does that really mean for a congregation? Because that's what I feel in this room and it's what I feel in your faces right now. I think the concept of compassion that you should exercise includes a concept of godliness. <coughs> It includes tolerance, tolerance for people and tolerance for one another, and tolerance for the difference in our views. It includes belonging. You're not alone in this room. You never will be. And you're with your community. You're with your congregation. And lastly, I think it includes an element of kindness. Watching people work in this building over the last week and the kindness they exhibited to one another has really been extraordinary. And for all the people who've done that, we want to thank you. So we're surrounded tonight by a beautiful structure, a structure of physicality. We need that because it's within this building that we're allowed to learn about Judaism and values and ethics. It is a great honor to joyfully light these Shabbat candles for the very first time in the synagogue. We do so with an eye to our bright future but with rich memory of the legion of women who over decades past kindled such lights on our behalf, on behalf of our storied congregation.
write the lives of all who behold. Then, of all who behold them, and may their glow move each one of us to ever bring light to our community and to our world. My fellow.